Hello and welcome to another Autodesk Inventor tutorial. Today we will be creating this part right here. So start off with a new part and we're going to be doing this in millimeters. So create a new sketch. It's going to be on the XY plane. We want this drill bit to be 12 millimeters in diameter. So we're going to start here with a circle at the center point create a 12 millimeter circle and now we want to extrude this sketch 100 millimeters now to create this twist feature we're going to first create a sketch on this plane here We're going to use the geometry and create a circle that is 10 millimeters in diameter here. And to fully constrain this, you must use the horizontal constraint. Click this, and then to the center point, so it's fully defined. We're going to go to finish the sketch. Now we're going to use the coil feature. I have this all set up, but just watch what I do. Click this. We want the axis that it's going to revolve around to be the Z axis. And your yours is probably going to come up by default as pitch and revolution. You want to set this to pitch and height. The pitch should be set to 20 millimeters and the height goes to 80. This just adjusts the frequency, so if I make this 10 millimeters, it's going to be a lot of tighter of a spiral, but leave it at 20. Don't forget to make this a cut. Click OK. Now we got one of the two cuts done. To create the other one on the other side, we're going to use the circular pattern. Click the rotational edit axis to be the Z axis. Features is the coil. And we want two. So that created another one on the other side. Now to create the tip, we are going to create a new sketch and we're gonna right click, new sketch on the YZ plane. Now hit F7 so that you can see what you're doing. Click Project Geometry and we're going to need this and that. Right click OK. New line from here to here, here to here, and here to Now the dimension from this point to this point be 3 millimeters, and we want to vertically constrain this point here, vertically constrain this point here to the center point. Now we have a fully defined sketch, and we want to revolve this feature around the z-axis as a cut. Okay, now we're going to create the hexagon shape here on this face. And under the rectangle, go all the way down and hit polygon. We want six sides. I want to start it at the center point. We're going to go to 3D model, extrude, and 
We're going to cut it 15 millimeters in that direction. Click OK. I'm going to take the fillet tool and we're going to do a one millimeter fillet here, here. and here. Click OK. That is it. Thank you for watching.